with the name of Allah. I am Faiza Abaydullah, Professor of Accounting. Before I start to my lectures, I am wishing for you to be happy and healthy. Let me start our lectures in Advanced Management Accounting. In this chapter, I will discuss pricing decision and cost management. There are three factors affect on pricing decision customers, competitors, and the cost. Customers influence prices through their effect on demand. Price increase as demand increase. That means there is a positive relationship between price and the demand. The second factor is competitor. Competitors influence prices through their actions. There is a positive relationship between price and the competitor actions. For example, if my competitor decreases its price, that means I must do my best to decrease my price. The third factor is cost. Costs influence prices because they affect supply. There is a positive relationship between costs and prices. As costs increase, prices increase. Time horizon of pricing decisions. Short-run decisions or long-run decisions. Short-run decisions have a time horizon of less than a year. For example, pricing a one-time only special order or adjusting product mix and output volume. Pricing a one-time only special order if you want a refrigerator with five feet. In fact, there is no refrigerator with five feet. That means the factor must make this special order for you to make a refrigerator with five feet. This is need a pricing decision in the short run. In the long run decision, or long run decisions involve a time horizon of a year or longer. For example, pricing a product in a major market. In this course, we will discuss long run pricing decision. There are two approaches in long run pricing decision market based and cost based. Market based depends on competitor and the customers, but cost based or cost plus depends on cost. We will focus on cost plus pricing. The general formula for setting a cost based price is to add a markup component to the cost base. That means cost base plus markup component equal target selling price. For example, if the cost per unit is 10 pounds and the markup component is 2 pounds, that means the target selling price is 12 pounds. There are four alternative cost plus methods variable manufacturing costs, variable costing, absorption costing, and total costs. In the next lecture, we'll discuss this method. Thank you. Goodbye.